Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the one. That's the right one. That's the right one. Starting off the morning, we're out on the beach. We got a little bit of a crew going out today. We're loaded up on bait. We gotta get out there real quick so we can get them some fresh water. Sean's doing that right now. But we're gonna go ahead and paddle out right now. Just basically paddling backwards right now. Just to get out into the calm water. We'll spin around and get all set up. We got nice clear skies up there, but then as we spin around, we got the circle closing in on us. We gotta keep moving. The paddleboard thing wasn't working out this morning. We have a gorgeous day, but there's just not seen any action out there. Uh, the boys headed out. I'm gonna stick around and try some surf fishing action for some snooks since I got some prime baits. Just gotta go grab uh, my surf fishing setup and we'll be back down here. So here's my surf fishing setup, or what I'm using now. It's actually a little big for snook, but uh, works really good just in case I hook into a tarp and I got the power I need. It's the Salt X 6000 like you guys see me using so much. And then for the rod, I decided to go with my nine and a half foot Salt X uh, surf rod, both by Tsunami, just so I can get something that's gonna cast a little further and also help me keep my line above the little breaking waves as I lap up on shore, which will stop my bait from getting pulled in. So I'm gonna throw a bait on here and get out there. Bomb them out there. See if we can find the big one. There he is. Little beach snook. Little beach snook thumped it. Woo! Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. Came right in the trough. He's right here. Little guy. That's sick. Oh man, it was right after that tarpon roll too. Too bad, he probably beat the tarpon to the bait. We're gonna go ahead and try to get him in and then maybe we'll get lucky and find something else. Come on, buddy. Got the leader. Nice little, oh. There he is, beautiful little ocean snook right there. Pretty far down, not super far, but just didn't want to lay him in the sand. There we go, got the hook. All right, so there he is, beautiful little snook. He probably won't need any revival. There he goes. I just, oh my God, this snook just, oh, they're eating it. He's tasting it. I don't think he got it still. Look at that. Oh my God, look at that little snook going after him. Oh man, the bait's all the way in here in this little suction thing. I don't know if that snook's still on him. If he is, that's gonna be a sick eat right at our feet. Oh, he's back on. Oh, that's a better fish. Nah, I think that's the same one actually, but he ate it that time. Oh no, he still hasn't got it. There he goes, he's on it, he's on it. Oh, it's not even on my hook. He just got it though. We're gonna go ahead and get another bait out. Not going crazy far, just right there. Hopefully we find a bigger one. That was a little guy. Use me Oh, he just got eight. Look at that. Snook sitting right there with it. There he goes. He came right into the trough with it. Look at that little guy. Little baby snook. They are so fun. That might be the one we missed it a little bit ago. Nice little snook. That's right there. Woo!
Bait going out. Not throwing far at all. Just throwing just past the little sandbar, just past the trough, I mean, or in the trough. And what I'm talking about with that longer rod is I'm able to just hold it like this and those little waves right there aren't sucking the line down. It's gonna go right up over them. And then I keep just enough tension on it so I can feel my bait kicking and I let him go wherever he wants because they're pretty good at finding the snook. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the one. That's the right one. That's the right one. Oh yeah. There we go, coming into the beach. Oh, he's coming all the way up onto the sand. It's going back that way. Oh my God, such a fast fish. It's a good one. Very solid. Oh yeah. That's the keeper snook right there. Woo. Oh yeah. Keeper snooks on the beach. Actually, he might be a little under. I might measure him. No, that's a good fish. Oh, come on, buddy. Stay down, stay down. It's a good one. First good snook for me of the season. It's gonna play him nice and easy in the surf. I'm pretty sure this is a keeper sized fish. Nice 28 and a half, 29 inch fish. We're just gonna really, really play him out, let him get nice and tired and bring him in on a wave. He slammed that bait. I, I gotta tell you guys, I love this Salt X setup in the water on the beach. It's like, Awesome setup, completely sealed. I don't gotta worry about water getting in the reel. I can get it splashed with salt water. Can even submerge it. Tighten up on them a little bit. It should be about ready to land. But I got real light leader. That's why I'm going so easy on them. I don't want them freighting through with that sandpapery snook mouth of his. Oh, come on, buddy. That's definitely a keeper fish. I think he's more in the 30 inch range than 29 or 28. He's getting tired. Oh yeah, we might be able to surf him in here. That's a keeper fish all day. Dinner sun, dinner sun right there. Nice slot snook. Little teeny hook got him right there. And I'll show you what I mean by that fray. I'm not in a big rush with him because we're keeping him. That thing's frayed all up. So that's why I was going real, real easy on him. Go ahead, pop that hook out. And that is a beautiful 30 inch ocean slot. Get off there, little bug. Good job. Thank you. So there you go. Slot, little nice 30 inch ocean fish. That thing is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. On the Salt X 6000 with the Salt X 9.5 surf rod, all by Tsunami. Woo! Yes, good job. So now with these fish, when we keep them, we're gonna go ahead and bleed them. And instead of cutting the throat, which alters the size, we're gonna go right through here, there's a little membrane. Pop your finger through that, and it's like a little piece of spaghetti right there. And, oh, I dropped it. Right there, and when you pop that, that's gonna bleed them out, make that meat a whole lot better. Just gonna go rinse them out real good in the water right now. See, he's just really bleeding out real fast. Humane kill. Paddleboard fishing was a bust this morning and I decided to stick around to the snook and as you can see, it turned out very well. We got the snook behind us right now. We're about to start cleaning it. And I didn't have a tape on the beach with me. I knew this fish was right in the middle of the slot just from seeing so many snook. And I'm gonna show you him on the tape right now just so everyone knows I wasn't fudging the slot size on it. So we got the nose right there. And then right down here with the pinch tail, he's right about just under 31 inches. So perfect. Real clean ocean slot fish. We're gonna go ahead and get them cleaned up now. First, I'm gonna make a little cut right through there, making sure to angle up towards the head to get as much meat as possible. 
Then I'm gonna go down till I get to the center of the fish and then turn my knife and with an angle on it, I'm cutting up through the scales, not down through them. So it makes it easier to go through those scales. And this is just kind of a line. It doesn't have to go very deep. It's just a line I'm gonna follow for the rest of the cut. Now I go in with the meat part of the knife, big part of the knife, and just kind of gradual pressure, just working my way down the back of the fish. Oh man, that meat looks good. Then once I get to the spine right there, I'm gonna get the tip of the knife over and just work it down from about the halfway point in the fish towards the back. Once I start feeling the skin, I'm gonna pop through and with like a sawing motion, go all the way to the back of the fish. Now that is where I'm gonna stop for that side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Knock a couple scales off so I can get a good easy cut in there. Down, turn the blade right down the fish's back, coming up through the scales again, and then work that knife. And this is a tsunami knife right here. It's got this little thumb grip, ah, killer wasp or whatever they're called. We're working right down that backbone, go over it about halfway down again till we start hitting skin. Punch all the way through. And I'll show you the two different ways that I like to fillet. First, we're gonna finish this cut right there. And we're gonna go down. And now we're gonna go, on this side, we're gonna go through the ribs. So I'm gonna get my knife like that and saw until it goes all the way up through there. And we just cut straight through all the ribs, got that whole meat off or that whole slab off. And then on this side, Still gonna finish that cut. Again, I use my knife backwards, kind of up through the top, just cuts through the scales real easy. Makes it so your knife doesn't dull as fast. And here we're gonna go over the ribs. This lets you get all that belly meat in there on that fillet job right there. So two slightly different styles of filleting. We got two slightly different styles of filleting here. You can see the ribs are left in. And then here, I went over them and cut them out. Um, both work very well. We're gonna go ahead and skin this fish, portion it out and put it in a bag. We got the igloo cooler, got our fish in there until we get home. Got it all lashed up. That's gonna wrap up another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and share with your friends. We'll see you in the next one, later. Uh -huh.